You cannot break the software. So open up Silhouette Studio, give these 10 tips a try. Let me know how it worked out for you. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success where we share tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button down below. And this is kind of a speed run. So let's get started. A quick and easy way to duplicate elements in Silhouette Studio is to hold down your control key while using the arrow keys on your keyboard. This is going to duplicate the element in the direction of the arrow that you're pressing. To create curved text in Silhouette Studio, you can draw out a circle, type out your word. You're going to grab this little handle here hold down and pull that towards the circle and that's going to automatically click onto the circle. You can adjust where it sets the slider here, adjust how close it is to the circle. You can even pull it to the inside. Now to release the text from the circle, you want to right click on the text and go down to convert to path. Now the text will stay put. You can move the circle away and even delete it if you'd like. One of my favorite things in designing is using different fonts. I'm going to switch this one over to tail. I got that from Creative Fabrica and you can see it's a nice cursive font, but sometimes when we use cursive fonts, we need to right click and weld them together so that it cuts out properly. And there aren't all of the lines in between each of the letters. Now this is one solid piece. It's going to cut properly, but you can see now when I hover over it, the name of the font no longer appears because this is no longer text. This is an actual element. And this happens if you weld or ungroup or make a compound path. If I wanted to work on this at a later time, I could come back and have no idea which font I chose unless I come over to my little sticky notes here. Let's click on that icon. We can pop that anywhere on our design area and that's going to allow us to jot down the name of the font that we used. We can save all of this as a Silhouette Studio file. And when we open it back up, we're going to know exactly which font we used and it eliminates all of the guesswork. The next feature I'm going to show you is in Designer Edition Plus or Business Edition. You do have to upgrade to get these, but these are flexi shapes and these are some of my favorite things to work with. We have some bells and an egg shape. We've got like a lightning rod here, some Christmas trees. This one's a cute little flower. You choose which one you want to use and just pull that out on your mat. This little red dot here is going to adjust the petals. The slider here adjusts the number of petals. And all of these things are just a ton of fun to work with. Now to get rid of all of these extra bits and pieces, you can right click and convert this to path and you have an amazing little flower in no time at all. Let's take a look at lines now. With lines, you can increase the thickness. You can also make them dashed lines or you can make them decorative lines. And I love working with these decorative lines. You can see that it is a completely different shape now. And again, we can adjust the thickness on this and it changes the appearance a bit. Let's head over to the sun panel real quick and take a look. I have tool one use all selected lines selected for the cut option and you can see that's going to cut the line right down the middle. This decorative part is not going to cut out. It would print. It's not going to cut. However, if we move over to tool one use outline of selection, now it's going to cut that shape for us. And I just think that is so cool. Give that one a try because it's a lot of fun. Now we're going to look at print and cut. If you're running V5, you may have already known Notice that the icon has moved. It used to be in the page setup panel. It now has its own panel here. Let's open that up and take a look. You enable your registration marks right here just by checking this little box. But what I want to show you is that in V5, you have the option to print your page right from the print and cut panel. That can come in pretty handy. Let's head back to the textile panel for a minute. I wanted to show you the font preview that they have here. You can type your sentiment into this box and you can see the previews pop up here where the name of the font would typically be. You can see exactly what it's going to look like and this can save you a ton of time and headache. No more clicking through font after font, you just scroll. 
I came across this next little trick while I was making Christmas tags this year. I had made a double layer tag design and I wanted to get the hole exactly in the same spot on both pieces. And there are other ways to do this, but I found the easiest way is to grab your eraser tool. That's a little bit small. Let's go up here and adjust the size. Let's go with a half inch. Get it right around the middle. You can click once and it creates a perfect circle in both layers and they are going to be perfectly aligned. Now there will be times when you go to cut out a font or a design and some of the pieces are just way too thin to cut out. There's no way to cut this accurately and get it weeded and get it transferred. So here's what you're gonna do. Go over to your offset panel click on offset and let's make this right around 0 0.015 and click on enter and apply. Let's right click and group that together real quick so none of those pieces get away from us. We can move the original away, fill this one in with color and you can see it's just slightly thicker but it still looks amazing. You will be able to cut and weed and transfer this now without any issues. Now we need to talk about my most used button in the software and that is the undo button. Just click this and it will take you back to where you started from. Here is the original text in all of its glory. If you make a mistake, use your undo button. This is going to boost your confidence. You're not going to break the software and you can always get back to where you started from. I hope this helped. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.